Okay, enough of this speculation. We are going to talk a little bit about what the most important... So before I say this, my store is very lenient because they don't actually have a magic guy. So, and even at that point in time, magic people uh, buying cards and stuff, they call me, they buy cards, blah, blah, blah. And this is the most valuable thing you can bring at pre-release. $2 bills. The reason $2 bills are so good is you can get five air for $2 bills. People love $2 bills and they are so willing to trade it. So every time before pre-release, I just have stacks of $2 bills. And I bring, you know, one stack to pre-release and another stack to another pre-release and off they go. $2 bills has a very unique aspect about it. Meaning you can give $2 bill for $5, but it only cost you $2. Like this only cost me a hundred bucks. It didn't cost me like 101 bucks. It didn't cost me 200 bucks. Oh yeah, because it's 100, so there are 50 of them a piece. Regardless, $2 bills are the best. You can also buy ice cream with it. It's a perfect pr uh, bill for buying things at pre-release. Like, it's absolutely stunning. What I have five layers, you know, um, what else did I get worth $2 a lot? I don't know. There's like a card that, oh, Death Rite Shaman. At the time, it was like $14, but you could just give someone four of these and $8 and they would do it. Uh, and again, that's saying my pre-release. My pre-release, very lax. Money transactions, typically okay. If you ask the owner, it's definitely okay for me because I probably buy so much. And yeah, $2 bills, best type of bill to bring around. You can buy snacks, you can buy stuff. Uh, people are so happy to trade stuff for $2 bills. I don't know why they automatically assume that $2 bills are not worth $2 because they are worth $2 and you can go to any bank to get these. But one of my uh, trade secrets, so in Houston, if people have $2 bills, it's probably because I went to the bank to get them and they are Magic the Gathering players, FYI. Bye guys.